Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys and you ladies. You know, this literally isn't working. Man, this weather has been crazy. Last week, it was like 88, 89 degrees, 88, 88, um, 89 degrees. Right now, it's, it's almost lunchtime. It's 55 and windy. The wind chill's got to be in the 40s today. This is freaking insane. I got this damn power washer um, head to clean out the gutters. So you can do it from the ground. It telescopes out 16 feet, which is great. I'm happy. I'm ecstatic about this. But I'm going to be on the ground, and the water's going to be coming down, and it's cold. can't win for losing it almost feels like time's going backwards and we're going back into fall or or early spring or towards the winter because it don't feel like spring to me but anyway i had to run to home depot i needed some more paint for uh the laces and things for the racks so i can get those things done don't forget to tune in tonight nine o'clock eastern we'll be doing another one of the giveaways and i'm still looking for cowboys first and ten. First to ten you were first you want a joe barty i need your email address so i can send it to you anyway interesting thing because this week is a big week we know in a couple of days we'll be having the nfl which can sell anything we are such uh hooked on fans we are literally like crackheads that it doesn't matter what they do we will watch. We will watch. So they have the uh, schedule release day show. And you know what's going to happen. There will be rumors and everything else all day long. Somebody will slip it out. Jerry Jones and crew will find out that somebody, you know, spoke it to somebody. And they'll want to know where the leak came from. Because you'll get tad bits and tastes of the whole schedule all day long. That by the time the show comes on, it's really already out there. But to get ahead of the curve, Peter King, infamous Dallas Cowboy hater, thinks that the season opening game is going to be either Buffalo Bills or the Dallas Cowboys versus Tampa Bay. Hmm. In some regards, uh, well, you know, every year, we, it seems like almost every year, we play the New York stinking Giants, right? You know, there's always that, that plot line. And, and the Giants currently, they're pissed off at us because uh, we traded with the Eagles, and the Eagles jumped in front of them to take a receiver that they wanted to take. But the, the thing is, is this is how stupid the Giants are. You know, they've got enough receivers. Their problem is they need an offensive line to keep Barkley, you know, some holes and keep them upright, because if you do that, that'll help Danny Dollar Store, you know, who, he's got all these receivers. Can he hit them? Can he really hit them? This is the same thing that happened with the Giants back when they got Brandon Marshall, and everybody was like, oh my God, how are you going to stop that offense? All those weapons. Yeah, all those weapons without an offensive line, they stunk. Anyway, the intrigue... I think would be stronger for the Cowboys versus Tampa Bay. Because even though the Cowboys were ass last year, that's right, I'm admitting, we sucked. We were terrible. We couldn't block nobody. We couldn't stop anybody. We couldn't catch the No, we actually couldn't catch the ball. We could catch the ball. But we, we, we were ass. And I make no bones about it. We were terrible. The crazy thing, even though they took away a primetime game of ours and gave it to the Giants, was the Cowboys were still one of the biggest draws last year. So you take Tom Brady, you know, seven-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady, and the Super Bowl defending team, Tampa Bay, versus the Cowboys, you know, Dak Prescott now the highest guaranteed paid quarterback in the NFL history. The Dallas Cowboys, great draw. And put that together, that could be some fireworks. 
I don't know that the Buffalo Bills, which did have a really great season last year, they had a great season. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't don't start hating me, okay? Don't start hating me. But let's be clear. Buffalo is more of a regional draw. I don't know that Buffalo has the power to pull the whole nation to open up the season. Sorry, I just don't see that. I'm not trying to, I, I mean no disrespect. Don't, don't you hate when somebody says, I mean no disrespect, and then they disrespect you? But I don't mean any disrespect. The Buffalo Bills, you know, I, I know the Bills Mafia, and they're jumping on tables and everything else. I get that. But, sorry. If you got the Dallas Cowboys, you've got the biggest franchise in football with the biggest fan base that's hoping that this new defense that they built and, you know, um, Dan Quinn now to see if he's the difference maker over, um, I don't even want to remember his name anymore. Um, if he's the difference maker with all this young talent, you got Dak Prescott, of course, coming back from injury. The storylines, the intrigue and everything else to me will be a whole lot bigger than the Buffalo Bills. Sorry. Not hating. Not hating. Just putting it out there the way it is. Because you also have in that equation the I'm, I'm kind of looking at my GPS here. You also have the train wreck fans that are out there too. The ones that absolutely hate the Cowboys, but they spend more time trying to trash the Cowboys and talk about the Cowboys, about how bad they are. And so if you're the NFL and the bottom line is money, that's a great season opening match. About the only one that I think that might be a rival to that or would be as gro big a gross would be Tampa Bay playing New England because New England now you think about this that's the you know season opener this is basically bitch slap Bill Belichick who let his quarterback go they ended up going down the toilet and they won the Super Bowl so you look at it from the standpoint of seeing Bill Belichick's um, demeanor and how he's going to, you know, act seeing, you know, his guy with that Super Bowl ring. That would be intriguing too. That that has great storylines as well. Sorry, Buffalo. I don't see that one. Just don't see it. Anyway. I hope you guys and you ladies are having a wonderful day. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Got to drop off some paperwork and then get back to the workshop and get working on Joe Parties. And I will see you guys in nine hours and eight minutes tonight. Peace.